वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा ओम श्री महासरस्वत नम गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं श्री चिन्मय सद्गुरव नम ओ सहनावतु सहन पुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाशावह शातिशाति हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि before we start the actual lecture there is one question that someone has asked let me answer that before i start the question goes are there people with a sixth sense and are they born with it or do they acquire them if they acquire how do they acquire them or are they just gifted please throw light on this what we understand there is no there is only five sense organs hearing smelling tasting touching and what seeing these five sense organs is all that we have but there is something where there are definitely special powers extraordinary powers which are called siddhis whereby someone can actually read other person's minds it's possible these type of powers there are someone who can see the future or the past they can also know certain things which may happen to other people in their life so these extra powers are can be called sixth sense if you want and these can either be you can either be and there are powers where you can cure people i know of people who can just cure people with their very touch or sometimes they are very you know i have known of a person who would pick up just anything you know any type of leaf etc and make a medicine you know she says that she had the ability with because of the sadhana that she did so she could induce in that vanaspati in that plant curative powers it already has these inherent curative powers and then when it would be given the person would get cured so all these are possible absolutely known seen experienced these either you can be born with them or you can develop them now how do you develop them the only way is sadhana you know you do a lot of spiritual practices and it is possible to develop them there have been great saints who have developed and some of them may not want to develop them but they come to them automatically they are just pursuing you know or devoted to god and they just get these extra powers just they come to them unknowingly they just come to them and they know they either sometimes they come to know later on that they have them or sometimes they don't even know miracles as we call them happen when they are very present people get cured or something happens extraordinary things can happen in their very presence so such things are there as i was telling the other day we have such limited powers of the mind normally that for us anything if a person learns the whole bhagavad gita by heart we think it's a genius that's it for us we forget the whole bhagavad gita 700 shlokas even if two shlokas they chant we say my god this man is great so therefore there are all these extraordinary powers yesterday our session was on parenting happy parenting there were a lot of things that we saw and of course there's a lot more that can be said one of the very very important roles that we said that the teacher and the parent must 
play is that of a porter. Remember? And they have two hands. One is the hand of love coupled with the hand of, which is that? Discipline. When both of this goes together, the pot, that is the child that is there, that they are grooming and molding, turns out beautiful. If it's only the hand of love without the hand of discipline, it spoils, it breaks the child. If there's only discipline without the love, then it's disastrous. So therefore, but both these hands, this beautiful shape takes place. There is another very, very beautiful role that parents and teachers have to play in the life of a child. And what is that? That is the role of a gardener. What's the job of a gardener? The gardener's job is not to grow the flowers or the plants under it. The gardener's job is to prepare the soil and the ground. Is it true or not? Sow the seeds, make everything ready, the right time, the right inputs are given, the water, etc., etc., and then the plant grows. He doesn't have to sit and pull it every day. Chalo, ugo, come on, out. And it doesn't, they don't compare. It's like, ah, atlu budu ugi go, na to uktuj na thi. This is growing so much and this is not growing. And if one, if there's a rose a plant, it grows like that. If a sunflower goes, grows like that. And then the gardener doesn't say, you know, this one is so nice and pink and red and you, yellow, yellow, dirty fellow. <laughs> you don't do that. You don't compare a sunflower with a rose and say you are like that. You're like, no, the sunflower is a sunflower, a rose is a rose. And each has its own beauty. Each has its own characteristics. Each has its own nature. But the gardener does take care to see that the sunflower or whichever is the plant that is under it, it doesn't go, grow haywire. If it doesn't grow, out of line. And if it does that, then what does he do? Clips it, trims it, straightens it. Is it true or not? Even when you grow your teeth and send one of them goes haywire. You know, it does happen. And then you wear braces. Nowadays, oh, most of the kids, they want to get this dental thing done. And then you have, so that everything grows. And when it doesn't grow, oh, oh, oh the wisdom truth grows at an angle. And then what do they do? They, do you understand? They pull it out. Similarly, what is the role of a teacher and a parent? Give the right atmosphere, give. Brace them whenever they need to be braced. Take care of them. And if they're going a little over smart, <laughs> haywire, <laughs> so what to do? Pull them up. You understand? Now, this is what the garden. Now, the gardener's job is not to grow the plant. The gardener's job is to facilitate the process of growing. Will you remember that? It's to facilitate, to create the right atmosphere, to create the conducive environment in which growing happens. The growing has, the seed has the potential to grow on its own. It has everything in it. It needs just a few inputs from outside. Similarly, some, in fact, sometimes something which is not there, it's not going to happen. A sunflower is not going to get a fragrance of a rose. No way. Many times parents try their best. Mathematics ni akkalad na ho. And then you want this mathematics into the child. Someone, you all must become with everyone. And it so very often happens, you know, then the parents, you know, they say, you know, you don't get good marks, you don't get good marks, etc., etc., etc. And once this child was like, you know, uh, the father was so mad, the child had failed, you know. And the child had not failed, he's shown his report, you know, and the report was failed. And the father is getting mad at the child and saying, you fail, and I put so much effort into you, and then the tuition mamukalyo, and I did this, and you fail, and he got so mad, he's saying, I'm going to give you. He's saying, look, daddy, just wait, hold on, I want to talk to you. I don't want to listen to anything. I told you, you must study, etc. Daddy, wait.